Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome to Resident Evil 2. Now I'm just going to preface this video by saying uh, I have played the first Resident Evil on PS1 but I never could get past the tyrant. That was the last boss in the game and I just, for some reason, I could not beat him. I gave up on it. So, yeah. Um, as for Resident Evil 2 and 3, never played them. Actually, hold on, wait. I think I may have played a bit of... Resident Evil 3 my friend I'm not sure I don't think no yeah it was Resident Evil 3 I played with my friend uh, going back a few years ago uh, what else uh, I played 4 5 and 6 also uh, another thing that I'm going to do another series I'm going to do it's a spin off Resident Evil series hold on some of you may recognize it I have it I have it ah is it, is it in frame yeah I might Go back and play this on the PCSX2 emulator. And yes, it is a legit copy. Yeah, there we go. That's in frame. Yeah. There's not a lot of love is given to the uh, spin offs, which I think is kind of unfair. So once I'm done with this, I will go back to, or I will start Resident Evil Outbreak. I have another series going as well, it's Ghost Hunter, but that game sucks. There's so little dialogue in it and too much action, it is boring me, but I will finish it out at some stage. But this is on my radar now, so I'll get into it. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. Ooh, spooky already lads. Okay, select a game mode. Uh, for hardcore fans of the series, saving requires an ink ribbon. Mm -hmm, I like that. No autosave. Alright, not too bad. And stronger enemies. Mm, okay, I will. Okay, for playing. Wait, wait, hold on. Standard, the normal gameplay mode. Aim assist, recover. Or a little aim assist, recover a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. You know what? I'll do standard. Then. Uh, at some point, for trophies, I will go into hardcore mode. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to the teeth of the I should have to somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good.
turns around. That's weird. Alright, so we are following the blood. By the way, I am removing the face cam from the cutscenes because I feel that is just a little too distracting for some people. Also, if you want this in 60 frames per second, uh, tough luck. This is going to be in 1080p unless you really want it in 720p. Because I have the original Elgato, so that doesn't Hello? do 1080p. Anybody there? 60 FPS. And when he does 720 in 60 FPS, but not 1080. Unless Elgato won't reach out to me and give me HD 68. HD 60S. That's that's cool too, but I don't think they will because um, my channel is teeny tiny. Oh, I hear someone. Oh! You all right? Hey, buddy, how are you? Wait, are you the truck driver? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Okay, first I'm going to do some more exploring around here. See if there's any collectibles. Because that's the last thing I want to do in this game. Find something useful and not... Uh, not find something useful. Uh, by lack of exploration. So there's nothing here. No. Okay. Okay, buddy. You hang in there. Okay, who be scrapping? Who's causing a ruckus? Stop in the name of the law. Stop what you're doing. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. No, you don't. Jesus Christ, man. Freeze! I'll shoot! You line up your head, shot, Leon. Jesus! No, 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 no! Get off, man! What the hell are you doing? Oh, God. They require a decent amount of bullets to put down. And how well I don't get infected despite being bitten. Okay, he, he's dead. And I did play the one shot demo on PC. Hell, I even recorded a let's play of it, but. For some reason. Uh, when I went to stop the recording, when I was done with OBS, it wouldn't stop recording. No way. This can't be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you get down. I thought headshots were supposed to kill you. Jesus, man. Come on, drop already. But uh, I like Leon's reactions. That's kind of cool. Because, you know, in uh, previous Resident Evil in installments, uh, he was all brave and whatnot. But in this game now, we're, where we are first introduced to him, he's a rookie. He's not used to all of this. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, let me up, dude. God damn it, I only have two bullets left. How the hell do I get out of here? I mean, I, I picked up a key, but it doesn't seem to work on the door I used it on, unless it, the door I used it on is wrong. Oh, right, yeah, this is the right door. Here we go. Okay, 
again, I'd prefer if my controller didn't make noises like that. Oh, hey, happy smiley, you're okay. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, let go, let go. Go and kick him in the face, kick him in the face. Leon, what are you doing? Kick him in the face. I don't have bullets to spare, man. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let me guess. I can't get it. Oh, hey, Claire. How you doing? Don't shoot. Get down. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. On. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here.
okay? Alright, time to get our ass to the police station. Won't bother dealing with the zombos. Because, first thing about old school Resident Evil 2, well, assuming that it's still playing by the old school rules, is that Lamo. Blah, blah, Lamo <laughs> is that ammo is still pretty limited. It's everybody. Now, in the demo, I found out that you can also make ammo, which is. A new feature, well that feature was carried over from Resident Evil 7, I believe, because they're all built on the new RE engine, so there's going to be some similarities here and there, maybe even a few assets reused. So that's kind of cool, I like that. Out of my way, Officer Tubby. Oh, here, here it is, Raccoon PD. Oh god, oh Jesus Christ, oh let me in. Um, Leon, how's Claire going to get in now? Alright, we'll work that out at another point. Because she's unimportant for the time being. Hello? Is anybody here? Yay, trophy! If there's one thing you have to know about me is that I love my trophies. Because I'm a bit of a trophy whore. Yeah, and we've got our old save point. Oh, yeah. Still using these typewriters. But at some point, I will go back and do hardcore mode. And we've got our weapon storage. But we only have a gun, so um, there's not much to store. There has to be someone here. Yeah, there's one dude. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Jeez, and the audio and video was pretty clear for a machine from the 90s. Okay, what do we have here? We have first aid spray. Okay, I know where to go, but before I do anything else, I'm going to collect me a few pieces of equipment. Namely, ammo, hopefully. I think there's some down here. Now the only difference I can tell from the main game and the one shot demo is your get up. You're wearing regular clothes here but in the one shot demo you're wearing the Raccoon City or Raccoon Police Department get up or uniform. And Leon is moving a hell of a lot slower. Possibly because he's injured. Maybe. Is there a way I can check that? No that's pause. And this is a map. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's my health. Okay. Yeah, okay, and under here we go. Ugh. Not the most sensory of places. You know, uh, crawling in someone's blood. Can we push this? No, we can't because it's nothing that we can push, but we can put a fuse in it at some point because there's going to be a lot of back and forth here. You got this. Yeah, damn straight you got this, Leon. I believe in you. Okay, more handgun ammo. 
Okay, turn on the lights. Just so we can put a bit of light on the subject. <laughs> light puns. Cheesy puns. I can do with some cheese right now. Okay, go on. Go on, Leon, move it. And use your manly man strike. There we go. <clears throat> manly grunting. A sign of strength. And there's nothing or nobody in here. Oh, 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 oh now we got more first aid spray. Not that I'll be needing it because I consider myself a professional game player. Mary and Joseph. Hurry! Oh. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll get you out. Hop, hop, hop to it, hop to it. Please! Give me your hand. Go on, drag him through, drag him through. Give me your other hand. Thank God he can't come through at least. Okay, I need this for the puzzle. So what I use this on is the little monument at the top. And I don't think this guy's gonna come through anytime soon. But someone will come through that door and kick it open with authority. Oh shit! Jesus, speaking of authority. Hello, PC Plot, how you doing? Come on. Personal space. Don't make me kill you. I will do it. How do I throw them off me? Is there like a, a button after press? Because normally what you had to do was struggle with the analog sticks, but it's not working for me. I keep getting bitten each and every goddamn time. Okay, no, I've got no time for your bullshit. Jesus, they're everywhere. Oh shit! What? The Run, Leon, run! I'm out I'm out I'm out I'm out <laughs> Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Kennedy. There was another officer. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. 
This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Anymore. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. L1 to ready, R2 to slash. Alright, so I probably couldn't struggle against the zombies before or I couldn't break free from the grasp without a knife. Alright, that makes sense. I guess. He can be used to counterattack with L1 when you are caught by an enemy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I've seen better days as well. That was a herb. Ooh, and I remember seeing something like this in Resident Evil 7 as well. That's what I was talking about earlier. Reused assets because it's on the RE7 engine. Or the RE engine. Well, yeah, nobody exactly imagines their first day of work fighting for their lives against zombies. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> Jesus Christ, my PS3 is taking off like... Oh, my PS4 is taking off like a goddamn jet engine. Shit, I really wish I got this on PC. Well, there's nothing much I can do about it. Yes, got a deal. Okay, uh, let's see if I can remember this puzzle. Or the combination to it. Okay, no, I have to... Try and figure it out from here. Okay, so line, read, and eagle. Alright, we got a line crest. Okay, and I think my PS4 has cooled down now. Yeah, now we're motoring. Now we are making some progress. So Elliot was right. He was indeed. He was a good yeah, man. But the passage isn't open yet. Nope. We must find the other pieces. And God knows where they could be. Ooh. More spooky corridors. Great. Jesus fucking Christ. Huh? What? And how the hell did you get up there? Never mind, I don't even want to know. 
Oh. Oh god. Oh, what a way to go. I don't think I can climb out here now. Wait, what would I want to use on this window? What could I possibly use on it? Yeah, happy Halloween to you too. Yeah, I'm not even going to deal with your bullshit. Wait, did I hear someone? Or something? Yeah. And as far as I'm aware, there is something I can pick up here. More ammo. Good. Uh, and there's also a key card. Oh, balls. Okay, I have to deal with you. Oh, no, 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 you keep your distance. There's definitely a key card here to have to pick up. And a record of events. Alright, so September 25th. We're turning the station to a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. Addendum? One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Mm, doubt it. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely beyond the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. Okay, I'm assuming he's no longer with us. Okay, now about that keycard, where was it? I thought it was on top of this table. At least it was in the demo. Okay, a map. Not that I'll be needing it. <laughs> All right, Officer Jobs, how you doing? Trying to get your favorite snack? Well, I can't help you with that. The only thing I can possibly give you is maybe a few bullets. Oh shit. Oh, my aim has never been so bad. Oh boy. Okay, you won't be getting up from that anytime soon. The key card wasn't here. Okay, gunpowder. And what's this? Oh, it's how to use it. Okay, handgun ammo. I need two gunpowders: shotgun shells, gunpowder, and high-grade gunpowder. Mag ammo, high-grade gunpowder. Yellow by two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. Ah, uh, yeah, I like this, I like this a lot. This was carried over from Resident Evil 7. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bullet in your head, just make sure that you don't get back up and kill me. Oh, that didn't do anything, except make you mad. Yeah, damn it, he won't go down. Okay, now he's down. For a bit. And combination, which... 
or a safe. Not a combination. A combination safe, which I do not know the combination to. But I'll figure it out in time. Oh, for the love of God, will you stay down? What the? Here, have a siesta for yourself. Shit. And yeah, another trophy. Love it. Now, about that key card. Okay, how much is there to read in this? No, only two. September 28, 2.30am. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed our idea off, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about the tunnel. Elliot Edward. Uh, good man, Eddie. You got a good head on your shoulders there. Okay, rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figure that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branna. Ah, Jesus. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Ah. Okay. Okay, so we've... I know two of their names. There's Elliot and... Scott? Oh, no, this is going to be hard. This is one where I really have to use my head. Ah, Jesus, I was reading over the note again, and I only have to get the initials of their first names. Okay, so I'm assuming right side for right lock, left side for left lock. Okay, so we have Martin, that's M, and Rita, so that's M-R. So, M, R, and the, we don't know the other officer's names, but we can guess. No. MRG. Oh. First break. And yes, we got it. And then we have Elliot Edwards and David Ford. So. We just need an. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. E for Elliot. And D for David. And we don't know the other guy's name, so we can guess. <laughs> it would net. So what do we have in here? Ooh, high capacity mag, Matilda. We can we combine it with our gun? Ah, oh, yes, we can. Ooh, yeah. Fucking greatest puzzle solver ever. And I have the trophies to attest to that. Okay, sweet. Oh, wait, there's a door back here, but can we go through it? No, we cannot, because we do not have the key. Oh, well. How long have I been recording for, by the way? Uh, did I even set it? Almost an hour. Oh, boy. And it took me a good 20 minutes to figure this out. Because I didn't read the damn note properly. Oh. George Scott. Yeah, there was a name play here. I thought I saw something on the ground. And God knows where the other one is. Oh, oh Jesus. When did you get there? Never mind, I don't even want to know. Okay. 
Okay, he's down for the count for now, but he'd probably get back up sooner or later. Okay, and what do we have here? Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keyboard to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck this up this badly? That uh, now probably me. What do you buy? It's missing. Oh, it's missing. It's missing the the one and two and three. Okay. Oh, and, and by inputting the number of the lockers into that little terminal there, I can get into these lockers. Okay, coolios. Wait, what keys is it missing though? It's missing the two and the three. Yeah, two and three, so I can't get into two or three here. I can get into 106. Okay, and what do we have here? Film roll. Oh, and it's a key item, so I need this. Okay, 109. That's handgun ammo, and I do need more of that. 109. Boom. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is use one of my first aid sprays. Wait, hold on. Can I just... How do I uh, put, assign these to the shortcut menu here? Okay, whatever. Okay, got me my ammo. And the shotgun's in there, but I didn't come across the key card. Because in the demo, the key card was in the room that I. Not the room that I just came from, but the room in which I crawled out a window from. The key card location must have switched or been swapped for the main game. This is where I came from. This is where the keycard was supposed to be, but it's not. And I'm not sure if I can get back there. Oh, hey, happy smarty. How are you doing? Wait, what is this? Wooden boards? One. Oh, I can use these for the windows. Okay. Great. I'm going to enjoy consuming that. And there's nothing I can replace. Wait, no, hold on. What's this key for? Sword room key. Oh, uh, wait. I don't need that anymore. I can discard it. Okay. So what I will do is... I'll put this here. Okay, that should stop you for a while. Even the games give me back pets. Okay, medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore these three herbs native to the Earthly Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought, until recently. 
it is well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. I assume that means um, maximum health. Truly, we've just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. I'm sure it will. And seeing as I've been recording for an hour, I will save the game here. And like always, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment, favourite, share and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.